Hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Hi. Fine, good very good. Teacher. And you, teacher? I am very well. Thank you for, for asking. How was your day? ¿Cómo estuvo el día? Tiring. You say tiring. Tiring. Cansado. Tiring. Very tiring. Yeah. Tiring day. I'm sorry about that. Yes. It's almost Friday. We are on half of the week. Vamos ahorita ya. Solo faltan dos días. Mitad de semana. Hello, teacher. How are you? Fine. How are you? Ah, good, but uh, it could be better. Oh, it could be better. I, I like that. I remember I had a colleague a long time ago. He is from, uh -huh. from Africa. He okay. is from Africa. And whenever you ask him, hey, how are you doing? He always said, it could be better. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I remember always. that friend. He's from, from Togo, I think. Togo. Yeah, from Togo. Oh. Okay. Yeah. He always responded like that. Siempre respondía así. He always responded. It could be better. It could be better, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so we will start in two minutes. Empezamos en dos minutos. Okay. Hello, teacher. Hello, how are you? Good, and you? I'm very well. Thank you very much. Ready for a new day. Okay, okay teacher. Yeah. Okay, so I have more people connected, but they're not, their cameras are off, okay? So let's wait two more minutes and then we start. Well, one more minute, un minuto más, one more minute and we start, okay? Okay, so uh, let's see who else is connected. We have Doris Raquel, hello Doris. Hello Irving. Hi teacher. How are you Doris? Good. Oh, nice, very good. Hi Irving. Hello teacher. Ready for the class? Yes. Perfect, that's very good. Hi, Jessica. Hello, Walter. Ulysses. Hello. Hello. Present. Hi, Walter. How are you? I, I find not bad. Not bad. All right. Very good. Not bad. That means you feel a little tired, maybe, right? Yes. Yes, somehow. All right. Hello, Ulysses. Hello, teachers. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. How about you? I'm fine. Oh, nice, good to know. All right, so let's start uh, the class then. And I have, let me see, four, eight, 10, 11 participants connected, okay? So it's time to pass the attendance. Okay, let me see, Aida? Claudia? Claudia is present, I think, right? I was talking to her. Uh, Daniel? Present. Doris? Present. Very good. Oh, it was Doris I was talking to. Okay, Ellen Nielsen? Ellen Nielsen? Oh, he was connected a moment ago. Yes, he is connected. Uh, yeah, I'm here. <laughs> All right, Elsie? Present teacher. Very good. Teacher, 
¿Ya? No, no voy a poder, no voy a poder participar en la, en la clase, pero sí voy a estar conectada. Ok, thank you for informing. Sí, muchas gracias. All right, Harrison. Irving, Irma, sorry. I am here, teacher. All right, Irving. Present. Javier. Javier is not connected yet. All right, Mayra. No, Milton. Okay. All right, Rafael. Santos. Present teacher. Nice, Sara. Nice. Ulises. Present teacher. Walter. Walter is connected, right? I think he has connection problems, yes. Uh, Wendy? Jessica? Present teacher. Hazel? Present teacher. Mauricio? Present teacher. Okay. Majo? Present teacher. And Carla? Not connected yet. Okay, everybody. Uh, so welcome uh, to today's class. Uh, for today, uh, we are going to study some very interesting uh, vocabulary, okay? Uh, but before that, okay, I just want you to remember uh, what you studied yesterday. So what did you study yesterday? Teacher. Hello, good evening. What did you study yesterday? ¿Qué estudiaron ayer? What did you study yesterday? Tell me, please, what you remember. Díganme qué recuerdan. Tell me what you remember. Or, or you don't remember much. The last one, it was uh, communication at the workplace. Sure. That's right. So communication at the workplace is the unit. It's correct. Okay, so it's the unit we have for, uh, for this week. And we studied, somebody said, shoot, right? So we studied the use of should and should not, okay? So um, what is the purpose of should? What is the purpose of using should? We, we use should for, 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 suggestions okay we use should for suggestions yeah uh, you should speak more slowly for example you should speak more slowly it's a suggestion okay and we use should not to say that something is not appropriate okay for example uh you should not uh yell you should not yell no debería gritar so it's something that is not appropriate okay or maybe you can say uh you should not and then you say the verb, okay? Yeah? Good. Now, uh, tell me something you want to tell your colleagues at work. A suggestion you want to give you, to your colleagues at work. Tell me some suggestions. Díganme alguna sugerencia que, quieren, que quisieran decirles a sus colegas en su trabajo. Uh, they should what? They should... Uh, they should organize the office, for example. They should organize the office. So tell me one suggestion you want to give to your colleagues. In general, using should, usando should, using should. They should, what? Ellen Nielsen, I think. <laughs> <laughs> okay. They should clean it up the workplace. <laughs> and they are here. <laughs> yeah. I know. They should, yeah. yeah, they should clean their workplace. That's right. So yeah. their offices, right? Good. Excellent. Yes. Uh, so do we have another uh, example? One suggestion you want to give to your colleagues. They should. Ellos deberían que? They should. They should go to the meetings, for example. Okay. They should go to the meetings. So tell me another example, please. Another suggestion. 
They should be present. They should be present. It's correct. They should go to work. Uh, Hazel and then Mayra. Uh, should... My boss should... Perdón. Perdón, perdón. Hazel. Perdón. Hazel and then Mayra, okay. okay? They should have a training. Ah, they should have a training. Excellent. So, Mayra? Uh, my boss should be patient. Ah, your boss should be patient. Should be. Okay, you say should be patient, okay? Yeah, you use the verb be. Should be patient. Good. Thank you, Mayra. So, do we have more examples? Mm -hmm. More examples? No? Now, uh, tell me uh, some things, all right, some things uh, that you think are not appropriate, all right, in your colleagues, something they should not do, algo que ellos no deberían hacer, something they should not do. For example, you can say, um, my colleagues should not uh, tell jokes, for example, my colleagues should not um, leave work early. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, so tell me some things they should not do, please. Algunas cosas que ellos no deberían hacer. Yes. My coworkers uh, make a lot of, of uh, jokes, for example, Hello. and they don't, shouldn't be. Okay, they, maybe you can say uh, they shouldn't do it. They should not do it. All right, repeat the example, please, Nilsson. They don't. They should. shouldn't. No, they shouldn't. Okay, they shouldn't do it. Do it, they shouldn't do it. It's right, okay? So the negative is should not or shouldn't, okay? They yeah. should not or they shouldn't, okay? Thank you, Ellen Nilsson. Anybody else? You're welcome. Anyone else? Something your colleagues should not do, all right? Algo que sus colegas no deberían hacer. They should not. Santos Ezequiel. They, they should not. They should not relax. They should not relax. <laughs> okay, at work. They should not relax at work. Okay, I like that one. Thank you. So do we have more examples? Do we have more examples? They should not scream, for example. They should not scream like gritar, okay? They should not scream, yeah? I'm just giving you ideas, okay? So do we have more examples? They should not arguing for something. Uh, exactly. They should not argue. All right. You, you can say only argue. It's okay. They should not argue. Okay. Argue. They should not argue. Yeah. Argue. Good. Excellent. Thank you very much, Walter. They should not gossip, for example, right? They should not gossip. Remember gossiping? Yes. They should not Gossip. gossip, gossip. right? Gossip. No deberían chismear. They should not gossip. <laughs> and I gave you more, right? Y le di otras. Otros malos comportamientos and other, uh, other bad behaviors. Yeah? Okay, they should not blame others. For example, they should not blame others, okay? Yeah, good. Um, okay, thank you very much for your uh, participations. Uh, remember uh, that the idea of should is to give suggestions. And the idea of should not is to say something is not appropriate, okay? Esa es la idea. Should para dar sugerencias y should not Cuando algo no es apropiado, sorry. Okay, cuando algo no es apropiado. When something is not appropriate. Okay, I have a question here. And before we go to the topic, uh, to today's topic, okay, I want you to see uh, these questions, okay? This question. The question is, what are good behaviors and bad behaviors in business meetings? Personally, what do you think? What are good behaviors and bad behaviors in business meetings? I'm talking about business meetings uh, specifically, okay? Específicamente estamos hablando de business meetings. So, buenos y malos comportamientos en las reuniones de negocios. So, you can make two and two, all right? Two good behaviors and two bad behaviors, all right?
Pueden empezar con un verbo con ing. All right, for example, um, chatting is a bad behavior. Chatting. Chatting is a bad behavior. Or interrupting the speaker is a bad behavior. Interrupting the speaker is a bad behavior. Empiecen con un verbo con ing. Ok. Interrupting. Interrumpir. Ok. Speaking too much. Ok. With colleagues. Speaking too much with colleagues is a bad behavior. It's like interrupting, right? Good behaviors. Paying attention during the meetings, okay? Paying attention during the meetings is a good behavior. Paying attention during the meetings. Participating during the meetings is a good behavior, okay? Raising your hands to participate is a good behavior, all right? Levantar la mano. Raising your hands to participate. Coming early to the meeting is a good behavior. Coming early or arriving early, llegar temprano, arriving early to the meeting is a good behavior, okay? I'm giving you ideas. Empecemos con un verbo con ing, por favor, en este caso, okay? Arriving early, listening to others. I repeat, start with a verb with ing, okay? Speaking, listening, going, acting, racing, a verb with ing, all right? I said two and two, right? Two good behaviors and two bad behaviors, okay? Okay, are you ready? I said two and two, right? Okay, two good behaviors and two bad behaviors in business meetings. Are you ready? 
If you don't have the question, make a screenshot, okay? Si no copiaron una pregunta, háganle una captura. If you didn't write the question, make a screenshot, please, because you need the question for the practice. Okay, uh, so are you ready? Or you need more time? I said two good behaviors and two bad behaviors, okay? Two and two, yeah? So are you ready? Are you ready? Yes, no? No. No, okay. So I'll give you one more minute, all right? One more minute. Un minuto más, one more minute. Two and two only, right? Two good behaviors and two bad behaviors, okay? I gave you some examples, okay? You can say, for example, a good behavior is arriving early to the meeting. Arriving early to the meeting is a good behavior. Saying good morning, okay? Saying good morning and goodbye is a good behavior, okay? Saying good morning. Listening to other uh, people is a good behavior, okay? Listening to other people. Interrupting the speaker is a bad behavior. Interrupting the speaker. Teacher. Yeah. Why should we use ENG? Um, it's, it's very common that when you want to start the sentence with a verb, like for example, escuchar a las personas, or what? Um, interrumpir al, es, al, al al hablante o al qué al entre al capacitador perdón siempre que queremos usar esa, ese tipo de verbos al principio lo usamos con ing interrupting por ejemplo interrupting the speaker interrumpir al capacitador si lo usamos al principio le ponemos ing ok listening to others escuchar a otros listening you say it with ing all right Thank I don't you, know if, yeah it's okay I don't know if you have seen this common phrase, uh, not smoking or no smoking. Have you seen it? Lo han visto alguna vez? No smoking, no fumar, okay? So it's kind of similar. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So whenever you use it at the beginning, you put ing, all right? Siempre que se usa al principio un verbo, se pone con ing, como en este caso, okay? Llegar temprano, arriving early. All right, arriving early to the meeting. Okay, uh, let's begin uh, with the discussion. Let's begin with the discussion. So the question is, what are good behaviors and bad behaviors in business meetings? Business meetings. What are good behaviors and bad behaviors in business meetings is the question, right? Yeah. So I will give you about three minutes, all right? In three minutes, in groups, you will discuss the question, all right? So discuss the question in three minutes with your groups, please, all right? Take turns, toma turnos para discutir. Take turns to discuss, please, okay? So let's go and discuss. Uh, maybe uh, maybe you can, uh, you can select somebody to start. For example, if Ulises practices with Mayra and Irma, si Ulises practica con Mayra e Irma, Ulises can ask Mayra, Mayra can ask Irma, and Irma can ask Ulises, okay, <clears throat> to practice. 
Yeah. So take turns. Tomemos turnos. Take turns, please. Okay, let's go and practice. Pero, pero sí las hice. Ok. Las. Ahí está. Las voy a... Ah, ok. Gracias. Okay. Make the screenshot. Hagan la captura. Make the screenshot, please. Or take a picture. Yeah, ready? No, 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 no. Yeah. Okay. ¿Qué dijo, mamá? Okay, yo pregunto. Ah, yo le pregunto si gusta. Okay. Okay. What are good, bad behavior and uh, what are good behavior and bad behavior in business meeting? Daniel? Uh, number one, pay attention to the meeting. Great thing we entering the meeting. Uh, don't talk in the meeting. Don't interrupt the presenter. Okay. Okay. Uh, you don't have to say don't because they are bad behaviors, okay? So the bad behavior is interrupting the speaker, all right? Interrupting okay. the speaker directly. Tell me the other, y el otro es, and the other is? El bad don't behavior. Talk. Ah, talking, okay, you can say talking, okay? Oh, talking okay. during the meeting or in the meeting. Talking in the meeting, okay? Talking, in the, meeting. talking in the meeting. Okay. What you said, Daniel? Pregunta. Okay. Déjeme solo. Veo la captura. What are good behaviors and bad behavior in Bosnet meeting? Uh, speaking much is a bad behavior. And a yelling in the meeting is a bad behavior. Behavior. Don't paying attention in a meeting is a bad a good behavior. Don't, particip don't particip participate in a meeting is a good behavior. Buenas noches.
Ok. Ahora, ¿quién sigue? Ahí, le pregunté a María José. This meeting is being recorded. Okay. Jelly. También la negativa. Ah, sí, aquí está. Sí. 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 Um, yes, Irma. No. Solamente íbamos a, a escribir tres negativas y tres positivas. No, no, I mean, two good behaviors and two bad behaviors. Two and two. Una two. y una. No, two and two. two. Yes. Ah, two negativas. good behaviors and two bad behaviors. No, no digamos negativas. Let's talk about behaviors, ¿ok? Teacher, uh -huh. okay. okay. eh, las no, no behave, behavior. Eh, bad behaviors. Ajá, malos comportamientos. Bad, beha bad, bad behaviors. behaviors. ¿Ya? Yeah? Eh, primero va eh, bad. No. Bad behavior. Mm, to answer, maybe. Le dije que primero iba el verbo con ing. Ajá. Ok, un mal comportamiento es, por ejemplo, hablar durante la reunión. Uh -huh. so you say talking, talking, le ponemos en el verbo, talking during the meeting, talking during the meeting, is a bad behavior, okay, talking during the meeting, another yes. is interrupting the speaker, interrumpir al capacitador, interrupting uh -huh. the speaker o al ponente, okay, ah, okay, okay, thank yeah. you teacher, okay, no problem, Van con ING, empiezan con un verbo con ING, ¿ok? Interrupting, listening, speaking, ¿ok? Ok, ok. Correcto. Los bad behaviors, los buenos comportamientos y los malos comportamientos, algo así. Ok, eso estoy intentando, estoy sacando ahorita, no lo he terminado. Ok, ok. Ok, thank you. Entonces, what else bad behaviors? El Nelson. A bad behavior. For example, uh, I think uh, smoking is ah. a bad behavior. Smoking during the, during the business meeting is a bad behavior. Standing up all the time is a bad behavior. Talking a lot during the meeting is a bad behavior. <laughs> yeah. Just leaving to class. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sleeping during the class is a is a bad behavior. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. During the meeting, yes. we are talking about the meeting, okay? So during the meeting. <laughs> It's the same. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> kind of the same. This meeting is being recorded. Okay, uh, okay, everyone. Well, oh, well, the idea is to use a verb with ing at the beginning, okay? La idea es usar un verbo con ing al principio, like interrupting, listening, Uh, speaking, uh, telling, standing, all right? Yes, so that was the idea. Esa era la idea. That was the idea, okay? So uh, thank you very much uh, for, yeah? Uh, why uh, 
every sentences is necessary in here and the beginning why is because of what we want to say all right because of we want to say because we want to say for example um because we are talking about behaviors okay uh, for example a uh, interrumpir durante la reunión um, llegar temprano a la reunión or what else can we say um escuchar a my, otros my question so, my question yeah. is por qué, por qué se comienza con ing yes yes i i get your point i, I hold on hold on <laughs> wait a minute all right so whenever we start a sentence like this in spanish in english you use the ing form okay yeah whenever you want to say for example escuchar a los demás no fumar uh, tratar bien a los demás siempre que queremos empezar una oración así en inglés lo hacemos con un verbo con ing okay yeah clear Clear? Yes, Walter? Yeah, yes. Yes. yes but right. I, I don't understand why, but I entiendo, understand. <laughs> Me neither. It's, a, it's, it's just like that. All right. It's just like that. Solo tiene que ser así. It's just like that. There's no like big explanation for that. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So uh, j just keep this in mind. Okay. Whenever you want to say, um, empezar una reunión temprano, starting uh, the meeting early. Or you want to say, escuchar a los demás, listening to others is important, okay? For example, okay? So we use ING in this form or in this structure, okay? Don't worry if you don't understand it. The most important is to use it well, all right? <laughs> okay. Yeah, okay, very good. Uh, so let's continue then uh, with, uh, with the next part. And well, this time you are not going to share, okay? So listen. Uh, I just have a question. What does send emails mean? Send emails. What is that in Spanish? Send emails. Enviar correos. Enviar correos. Enviar correos. So send emails is enviar correos or sending emails if you want to say it, right? Sending emails, enviar correos. Very good. So let's go to the next question. So in the next questions we have, uh, these questions are on page number 33, okay? So question number one is, it's about you, right? Do you send emails every day? You personally, you can say, yes, I do. Do you send emails every day? Yes, I do. Should emails, it's a question, right? Should emails be brief or long? Breves or largos? How should they be? Como deberían ser? They should be brief or long? I don't know, okay? It's a personal answer. You can say, for me, they should be brief, or for me, they should be long. Esa podría ser su respuesta. That, that can be your answer, okay? Can you mention uh, three tips to write effective emails? Okay, it's like, ¿puedes mencionar tres tips para escribir correos de forma efectiva? O eficiente, we, we can say, right? Yeah. I think you write emails every day, so you know tips. I bet. Apuesto que saben muchos tips. Okay. So please take a moment and answer the questions. If you ask me, Bernardo, do you send emails every day? I say, yes, I do. Should emails be brief or long? For me, for me, emails should be brief. Deberían ser breves o cortos. Okay. They should be brief. Can you mention three tips to write effective emails? And in the tips, I, I can say, emails should be brief. You should uh, write a greeting. Deberías escribir un, debería escribir un saludo. You should write a greeting. Or they should have a greeting. Deberían tener un saludo. They should have a greeting. And they should have a farewell or a closure, all right? Deberían tener un cierre. They should have a closure, for example, okay? Así que para, for the last question, para la última pregunta, pueden empezar, they should, okay? They should, ellos deberían qué? And then, and then you mention the tip, y luego mencionan el tip, okay?
Uh, for the last question, you can say they should have, okay? Deberían tener que, los correos, right? They should have. So you can start like that. Pueden empezar así, they should have. For example, they should have a greeting. Deberían tener un saludo. They should have a greeting. Okay, so that's a tip, right? They should have a closure. Deberían tener un cierre. They should have a closure, for example, okay? So you can start uh, the sentences for the tips like that, okay? Pueden empezar así los tips. And for question number two, should emails be brief or long? So you say, for me, you can say, for me, because it's personal, right? It's your personal opinion. Uh, they should be, for example, in my personal opinion, they should be brief. Deberían ser breves. They should be brief. But maybe you can say, for me, they should be long. All right, maybe you can say that is personal. This is for question number two, okay? Are you ready or you need more time? Do you need more time? Ready, Mayra. And the others, are you ready? Yes. Santos, are you ready? One minute. <laughs> one minute. Okay. So I'll give you one more minute. So take a minute. Tomen un minuto más entonces. Take a minute. Take an extra minute.
Okay, enough time. So uh, the questions are on page number 33, right? Uh, the question is, question number one, do you send emails every day? Do you send emails every day? Question number two, should emails be brief or long? Should emails be brief or long? Number three, can you mention three tips to write effective emails? Can you mention three tips to write effective emails? All right, so we have three questions for this. Okay, so uh, let's start then. Uh, who wants to share the answers? Who wants to share? Quien quiere compartir? Who wants to share? So if you want to share, go to reactions and raise your hands, please. Si quieren compartir, vayan a reacciones y levantan su mano. Go to reactions and raise your hands. So we have Mayra. Who else? Quien más? Who else? I need three more volunteers. Mayra is volunteering, so I need three more. Ulises, thank you. Two more. Don't mas. Two more, two more volunteers. Okay, I have Doris. Thank you very much. One more, please. And reaction. Yes, van a ir a reacciones y van a levantar la mano si quieren participar, okay? Go to reactions and raise your hands. I have Santos too. One more, okay? Uno más, one more participant. So I have Mayra, Ulises, Doris, and Santos. So I need one more participant. One more, uno más. Okay, let's see Ellen Nielsen. Okay, let's start. Don't lower your hands. No bajen la mano, leave it like that, please. Leave the hand like that. Okay, Mayra. So let's start with you. Uh, do you send emails every day? Yes, I do. Should emails be brief or long? For me, email be brief. Should be brief. They should be sí. brief. Okay, excellent. Be brief. Can you mention three tips to write effective emails? They should be, they should have a greeting. They should be a specific, they should be direct. Excellent, I like it. Thank you very much, Mayra. Thank Ulises. you. Uh, question one, do you send emails every day? Yes, I do. I send emails all the day to my boss, to my coworkers, to customer. Different people, okay, good. Question <laughs> number two, should emails be brief or long? I think they should must be brief. They should be brief, right? So they are not boring. Question number three. Can you mention three tips to write effective emails? They should have a greeting. Yeah. They should have a clear information. They should have, sorry. And they should have clear information oh yeah clear information and number three they should have the name of the person who send it who is sending the email yeah that's very important okay thank you ulysses thank you very Thanks. much now let's listen to doris raquel so doris um let me see uh, do you send emails every day yes i do should emails be brief or long are usually long. Long, okay. Can you mention three tips to write effective emails? Okay, uh, address the right person. Okay. Uh, the subject uh, line should dictate what the content is about. Yeah, okay, the subject the, is important. And use formal language. You use formal? Language. Language, excellent. So you have, you should use formal language. Excellent, thank you, Doris. I like the tips. Santos, um, do you send emails every day? Yes, I do. Should emails be brief or long? My email is be, be brief. They should be brief. You say? Be brief. Should be brief, okay? Should be brief. brief. Deberían ser breves should be brief they should be brief all right number three um okay let me see i lost the questions here can you mention three tips to write effective emails they should they should 
sorry, they should have open. That's right. They should have development. Uh, development. Yeah, development. Yeah. It's again okay. development. Yeah. They they should have close. A closure. Closure. Close. Close. Closure, closure, cierre. Okay, that's excellent. That's very good. Thank you, Santos. Now let's go with Ellen Nilsson. Ellen Nilsson, um, do you send emails every day? Ellen Nilsson, this is for you. Sorry, yes, I do. <laughs> okay, should emails be brief or long? For me, they should be brief. Exactly. Okay. Uh, can you mention three tips to write effective emails? Okay. They should convey the idea of the message. Okay. Pretty good. They should be good spelling. The spelling and should be good. And? Yeah. They should be, uh, sorry, they should have a proper closure. Excellent. A proper closure, like best greeting, best regards, sincerely. Okay, that's important here, right? Yeah. Okay, thank you very much uh, for the participations. So do we have any other participation? Tenemos alguna otra participación? Do we have any other participation or no more? No more? I'm just trying to give you chances to participate. No more uh, participations? No? No, I don't think so, okay. So thank you very much uh, for your uh, participations. Now for the next activity, we are going to work in groups, okay? So please pay attention carefully. So listen, in the next activity, we have some tips, all right? We have some tips for writing formal, formal emails, all right? We have some tips for writing formal emails. For example, tip number one, do not use all capitals, all right? Do not use all capitals. So what does it mean? ¿Qué quiere decir eso? Do not use all capitals. No usar mayúsculas. No usar solo mayúsculas, right? Okay, good. Number two, avoid using the subject important. Avoid using the subject important. What is that? What is the meaning avoid? Avoid is um, evade or evita. Okay, so avoid using the subject important. What is the subject of the email? ¿Qué subject en el correo? Subject. Asunto. Asunto, exactly. Subject is asunto. So avoid using the subject important. Eh, evita usar. El asunto importante. Algunos que ponen important, okay? So a tip is avoid using the subject important, okay? Have you ever done it? ¿Alguna vez lo han hecho? Have you ever done it? <laughs> sí. Yes, okay. But, but we, are, we are checking some tips anyways. Number three, use a formal salutation like good morning or... Dear Doris, for example, okay, a formal salutation, okay? So in emails, you commonly say dear. En correos en inglés, normalmente decimos dear. Dear Doris, for example, dear Doris Hernandez, querida Doris Hernandez, dear, okay? Uh, then we have be brief. Be brief is one of the tips we studied, right? Be brief, sé breve. Express clearly what you are writing. Clear information, I think Ulises mentioned this, right? I don't know if it was Ulises, I guess. Express clearly why, why you are writing, okay? Expresa claramente la razón por la que está escribiendo. Important, do not use abbreviations, okay? Do not use abbreviations or acronyms. That is the same, all right? No usemos abbreviaciones. Like, for example, sometimes, uh, now, nowadays, it's very common, it's very common that in Spanish, right? This, this is very common in Spanish nowadays, okay? And in English, maybe you can write. This, right? This is very common in English nowadays. 
Eso es muy común en inglés hoy en día. How are you? How are you? Ok, so please, the tip is do not use abbreviations, ok? So no abbreviations are permitted, ok? Good. So the next tip is do not use uh, similes. What is that? Sorry, do not use smileys on my smileys. No usar is, emoticones. No usar emojis, right? So don't use emojis. So don't use smileys, all right? Good. So, uh, so we have different tips here. The question is sincerely, sinceramente, sincerely, right? Sincerely. Which tips for writing emails do you personally do you follow? Okay, don't tell me. No me digan ahorita. No me digan. So the question is, which tips for writing formal emails do you follow? All right. ¿Cuáles tips para correos eh, formales siguen ustedes? Which tips do you follow? Okay. You can say, for example, um, do not use all capitals. Uh, use a formal salutation. Be brief. I don't know which ones you follow. All right. Yo no sé cuáles siguen ustedes. I don't know which ones you follow. All right. So this is personal. So please take a moment and think. And think. Y si tienen la copia, póngale un chequecito a los que siguen. Okay. Put a check to the ones you follow. Uh, so, did you decide? Did you decide uh, which tips you follow? Yes. All right. So, the question is which tips for writing formal emails do you follow? All right. Which tips for writing formal emails do you follow? That's the question. And then you say the ones you follow. All right. Y mencionan los que ustedes siguen o aplican. Yes. For example, if you ask me, if you ask me, right, this is personal. Okay. If you ask me, Bernardo, which tips for writing formal emails do you follow? So I say, for example, uh, do not use all capitals, use a formal salutation, be brief, uh, and do not use smileys, all right? These are the tips I follow. Estos son los que yo sigo, pero tal vez ustedes siguen diferentes tips, okay? Maybe you follow different tips. And if you have another tip, you can mention it, okay? So this is on page number 33. Okay, very good. Um, now I want to listen to other people. Quiero escuchar a los que no han participado. I want to listen to the ones who haven't participated, okay? So for the previous activity, um, Doris, Santos, I think, yeah, Walter, I guess, Ellen Nielsen, Wow, well, Ulysses has participated too. So now I want to listen to others, okay? Ahora quiero escuchar a otros. Mayra participated too, right? This time I want to listen, for example, to Irma, Majo, Jessica, maybe, Irving, Wendy, Carla, I don't know. I want to listen to others, okay? So are you ready? ¿Están listos? Yes? So let's see. Let's start with Daniel. Daniel. So, which, which tips for writing formal emails do you follow? Don't not use, don't not use all capital. 
Yeah. About using the subject important. Yeah. Use a formal salut saluration. Be very express clearly what you are writing. Don't don't use a vibration. Don't use smiles. Excellent. Thank you very much, Daniel. And uh, now let's listen to um let me see here. Let me see here. Maho, are you ready? Yes, you only say the, the tips you follow. That's it. Las mismas que están ahí no eran otras. No, no, the ones you have there, los que tienen ahí. The tips you have there, pero si hay otros pueden mencionarlos. If you have others, you can mention. Okay? Está bien. Okay, Majo. Uh, so, uh, which um, tips? Sorry? Uh, which tips for reading formal emails do you follow? And do not use on capital. Avoid using the jet subject important. Use a formal validation. Be brief, as is pronunciation. Yeah, be brief. It's okay. Express clearly why you are reading. Really do not use the prevention. And do not use a smiling. Okay, that's excellent. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you, Maho. And uh, now let's listen to um, Irving. Are you ready, Irving? Well, let's listen to Jessica. Jessica, are you ready? Well, let's listen to Carla. Carla, are you ready? Mauricio, are you ready? Hazel, are you ready? Aida, are you ready? Okay. My goodness. Patience, paciencia, patience. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Let me pass the attendance. Voy a pasar asistencia. Let me pass the attendance. Okay. Okay, anyways. Aida? Claudia? Present teacher. Sorry. It's okay. Claudia? Daniel? Present. Doris? Present. Elenison? Present teacher. Elsie? Herson? Irma? Present teacher. Irving? Present. Javier? Mayra? Present teacher. Milton? Rafael? Present. Santos? Present teacher. Sara? Ulises? Present teacher. Walter? Present. Wendy? I am here. Jessica? Hazel? Mauricio? Present. Ah, okay, Maho? Present teacher. Carla? Present. Okay, that's it. Just let me check something quickly. Déjenme revisar algo rápidamente aquí, por favor. Let me check something quickly. Okay. Um, let me see. Let me check something. Les quiero leer algo aquí rápidamente. Okay. Just let me read it, read it for you. 
Vaya. Um, ok. Um, de parte de Inglés Corporativo nos mandaron un correo electrónico y nos están haciendo un recordatorio, ok. Y el recordatorio que nos están haciendo es que, el, que les recordemos a los participantes que no olviden lo de la cámara encendida, ok. Y yo, a mí sinceramente ya me da pena decirle, fíjense, algunos, les soy sincero, la verdad, soy muy sincero, soy muy sincero. Yo sé que algunos, bueno, algunos me escriben a veces, ¿verdad? Por, por las razones por las que van a tener la cámara apagada. Y yo sé que algunos no lo hacen siempre, pero les soy sincero y les digo que a, a mí me da pena ya recordarles porque me mantuve recordándoles bastante al principio, pero aparentemente los mismos siempre insisten en tenerla apagada. Y ya no sé cómo hacerlo, la verdad. No, no sé cómo. Me siento pena decirles ya de que la cámara debe estar encendida. ¿Ok? Entonces, pero sí tengo que hacerlo porque me hicieron el recordatorio de parte de Inglés Corporativo. Y de hecho nos hicieron el recordatorio a todos los, a todos los participantes. A, a, perdón, a todos los facilitadores. ¿Ok? Nos mandaron al WhatsApp. Nos mandaron a recordar de que, de que les dijéramos, ¿verdad? De que la cámara debe estar encendida. ¿Ok? Entonces, solo estoy siguiendo la instrucción. Ya Díaz no lo decía, pero ya saben la instrucción, ¿ok? Ya sabemos la instrucción de que la cámara debe estar encendida, ¿verdad? No es algo que yo me he inventado o que inglés corporativo se ha inventado, sino que es un lineamiento que seguimos que es dado de parte de Insafor, ¿ok? Simplemente. Así que eso es muy, muy importante. Estoy consciente que hay algunos que, 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 que la tenían apagada en ese momento, pero yo sé que la tienen encendida y por obvias razones a veces la la apagan, ¿verdad? Pero también estoy consciente que hay unos que nunca la encienden. ¿Ok? Así que solo mi, mi obligación solo es hacer el recordatorio, ¿ok? Y yo me quedo hasta ahí. El recordatorio tampoco puedo, puedo como obligarlo, ¿verdad? Porque no, no depende de mí, solo que un requisito es tener la cámara encendida y se da el requisito desde el principio del módulo por esa, por esa razón, ¿verdad? ¿Ok? Así que hago el recordatorio que la cámara siempre debe estar encendida, ¿ok? Al menos, yo les decía al principio, al menos que tal vez a veces nos paramos para ir al baño o tal vez estamos mal de salud, pero normalmente me lo hacen saber siempre, ¿verdad? Si están mal de salud, a veces me van a decir, fíjese que estoy bastante mal de salud. Voy a estar con la cámara apagada. Por ejemplo, creo que fue Sara el día de ayer. Ese, ella ella me, me dio las razones por las que iba a tener la cámara apagada, ¿verdad? Entonces, pero el detalle es que hay algunos que no dan razones y tienen la cámara apagada siempre. Y es un requisito, la verdad. Así que les hago el recordatorio nuevamente. No lo había hecho esta semana ni parte de la semana pasada, pero hago el recordatorio nuevamente que la cámara debe estar encendida, ¿verdad? No sé si tienen alguna duda al respecto. ¿No? ¿No? ¿Estamos bien? ¿Estamos bien? Okay, It's okay, teacher. It's okay. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for taking this time for this, but it was important. Lo siento por tomar este espacio, pero debía, debía hacerlo, por supuesto, ¿verdad? I had to do it. Okay. So, um, so thank you very much uh, for the participations, okay, for answering the, the, the questions, okay? And for the next activity, we are going to work in, uh, in groups, okay? So in the next activity, I have this in pairs, sorry. I have this conversation, okay? And in the conversation, we have Amanda and Luis, all right? We have Amanda and Luis. All right, so um, I want to listen to two people pronouncing the conversation. So let's listen to uh, Walter and Ellen Nilsson, if it's available. Okay, so um, you start, Walter. <clears throat> okay. Do you often send emails? Yes, I do. Is it appropriate to use abbreviation in business emails? No, it is not professional. I see. Could you share more tips to write effective emails? Yeah, sure. Okay, that's excellent. Thank you very much. Now let's listen to Ulises and Doris Raquel. Okay. Ulises can start. Ulises can start. Okay. Do you often send e emails? Yes, I do. Is it is appropriate to abbreviation in business emails? No, 
it is not professional. I see. Could you share more tips to write effective, effective mails, emails? Yeah, sure. Okay, thank you very much. Ah, uh, that's very good. Now let's listen to Aida and Mayra. Can you do it, Aida? Yes. Um, yo me voy incorporando, ¿verdad? Pero creo que es la conversación, ¿verdad? La que yes, it's enseñando. just to. Ah, okay. Uh, it's, it's just to pronounce the conversation, okay? Okay, okay. So, uh, Mayra, you start, okay? okay. You are Amanda. Do you often say emails? Yes, I do. It's inappropriate to use abbreviation in business email? No, it is not professional. I see. Could, do, could you share more tips to write effective emails? Yeah, sure. Thank you very much. That's excellent. All right, now let me pronounce it for you and pay attention to the pronunciation, please. Do you often send emails? Yes, I do. Is it appropriate to use abbreviations in business emails? No, it is not professional. I see. Could you share more tips to write effective emails? Yeah, sure. All right. So this conversation is on page number 33. Again, all right, page number 33. All right, so I will give you about three minutes, okay? In three minutes, only practice the conversation and take turns, okay? So you will practice in pairs, okay? So page number 33. So take a moment, please, and practice the conversation. Teacher, solo yo estaba ahí, nadie más. A enviarlo iba a otro equipo ahorita. <laughs> Gracias. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. Let me see. I was about to send you with. Let me see. Let me see. I had someone here. No, pero ya se unió. Ok. Entonces, eh, si gusta, regresa al equipo y lo envío a otro equipo. Ok. Okay. Please. ¿Y aquí cómo le hago? In the same, uh, in the same window. Creo que es en la misma pestaña. I think it's in the same window. Because I don't find you here. Seleccionar, darle video, silenciar mi audio, no sé. No, okay, let me help you here. Creo que aquí, aquí te encontré ahorita. Okay, let me send you to a group. I will send you to group number seven. Okay, there you go. Thanks. Thanks. Right. Okay, no problem. Do you then sing? This meeting is being email? recorded. Yes, I do. It is appropriate, appropriate to use abbreviate, abbreviate to abbreviate, abbreviate in abbreviations in voicing email no it is not professional i see would you share 
more tips to write effective email? Yeah, sure. By all, you yes. I'll I'll start. You start. Do you often do you often send emails? I see. Could you share more tips to write effective emails? Yeah, sure. Do you often send emails? Yes, I do. Is it appropriate to use abbreviation in business emails? No, it is not professional. I see. Could you share more tips to write effective emails? Uh, yeah, sure. Do you often send emails? Yes, I do. It is appropriate to use abbreviation in business email? No, it is not professional. I see. Could you share more tips to write effective email? Yeah, sure. Okay. Be sure the pronunciation the appropriate as you say, yes. You say appropriate. Teacher? Appropriate. Appropriate. Yeah. Appropriate. appropriate. Yeah, appropriate. appropriate. Yeah. Okay, teacher. Thank you. All right, no problem. Okay, Irma. Do you open send emails? Yes, I do. Yeah. Eh, donde dice more, no se pronuncia la S, es more. Y right, more. right effective. Esa es la clave. Casi siempre no se pronuncia la E. Al final, share, right, effective. Ok. Yeah, yeah sure. Sure. Exacto. Sure. Ahora comienzo yo. Yes. Do you often send emails? Yes, I do. Is it appropriate to use abbreviation in business emails? No, it is not appropriation. I see. Could you share more tips to write effective emails? Yes, sure. Co exactly. ¿Cómo pronuncia usted en la penúltima donde dice I see la palabra C O U L D Q Q C se me dijo Ajá, solo sí. la pronunciación de la palabra que se escribe Coul, Coul. ¿Ya la vio? Coul. Ajá, es ya vio esa palabra, ¿verdad? ¿no? Esa se mm. pronuncia solo como could, could sin la O. Cool. Good. Sin la O y sin Ay, la L. Sí, el... sin I, la o y... see could. I see could. Ah, sí, could. 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 Ah, solo las, I como que estuviera could. viendo solo la C, la U y la D. C, la U y la D. Could. I see. Could I you see share more? Could. could you share? Yes. Sería, is you could you no, I, share? I see. I see. I see, could you, sure, share, uh, share, 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 share uh, more tip to read, a more, a more, tips, uh, tips to read, right, 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 uh, email, email. Uh -huh. La clave es ahí donde dice share. Es como recuerde que no se pronuncia la, la letra E. Share, write, effort. Sure. Okay, uh, very good. So I need two pairs of volunteers. I need two pairs to present the conversation. So who wants to present? I need two pairs to present the conversation. Me to share. All right, let's listen to Maho and... 
And <laughs> who is Majo's partner? Ellen Nielsen, no sé. Ellen Nielsen. No, pero mi compañera debe saber. No. ¿Quién era el compañero? Oh, it was Daniel. All right, so, so the, let's listen to Daniel and Majo then. Excuse me, Daniel. Okay. Uh, do you often send email? Yes, I do. It is appropriate to use abbreviation in Bucini's email? No, it is not professional. I see. Could you share more tips to why effective email? Yeah, sure. That's excellent. Thank you very much, Maho and Daniel. And now let's listen to Carla. I can see Carla wants to participate. Carla, who is your partner? Carla, who is your it's partner? Mayra. It's Mayra. Okay, so let's listen to Mayra and Carla. Okay. Do you often send emails, Carla? Yes, I do. Is it appropriate to use abbreviation in business email? No, it's not professional. I see. Could you share more tips to write effective emails? Yeah, sure. That's excellent. Thank you very much. All right, so for uh, effective, what you say effective, effective emails, e, effective. Effective. Effective, ah, okay. that's right, effective okay. emails. For abbreviations, for everybody, not only for Mayra and Carla, you say abbreviations, okay? Abbreviations, okay. abbreviations, all right? Abbreviations. Uh, that's right, abbreviations, abbreviations. Apropiado is appropriate. Abbreviations. Apropiado, okay. you say appropriate. 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 Yes, okay. appropriate. Okay, thank you very much, uh, Mayra and Carla. So I said to Paris, right? So thank you very much. So listen, uh, for the next activity, we will have bigger groups. But in these groups, you need to clarify. I mean, all the group needs to have some vocabulary clear. So for this, you need to work in teams. And in the team, you will clarify this vocabulary, okay? So, and in the vocabulary, we have some tips to write formal emails, all right? So these are some tips to write formal emails, okay? So here maybe you have new vocabulary. The idea is that with the group, with your group, con su equipo, with your group, uh, try to clarify the meaning of these uh, tips, all right? Que tengan claro a qué se refiere cada tip. Lo van a hacer en equipos. You will do it in teams, okay? I will give you about 15 minutes for this. Le voy a dar alrededor de 15 minutos para esto, okay? So in the groups, decide if you want to check the dictionary, but you need to have clear what this refers to. Necesita tener claro a qué se refiere cada tip, okay? Inside the groups, dentro del equipo, inside the group, okay? So this is on page number 34, yeah? De acuerdo? All right? Yes, sir. Okay, perfect. Gonna, so, yeah. I got a question, teacher. Uh, we're gonna uh, translate these sentences, or maybe what well, what's necessary? Maybe what's necessary, all right, to understand the the tips. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. Yep. Uh, so let me repeat. You are going to check the tips, and you need to have it clear what they refer to. Necesitan tener claro a qué se refiere cada uno. Si quieren traducir, pueden hacerlo. You can do it, right? Yeah? But with your group. Todo el grupo debe tener claro a qué se refiere cada tip. ¿Ok? ¿De acuerdo? Agree? Page number 34. ¿Ok? Page number 34. I am going to choose some leaders for each group. ¿Ok? Elenilson, you are going to be um, one leader. ¿All right? For the group. Um, Aida... You will be another leader for another group, okay? And let me see here. Let me see who else. Let me see, let me see. Well, Ulysses. Ulysses will be another leader, okay? Ulysses will be another leader for another group. And, well, only three. Well, let's make four groups. Vamos a hacer cuatro equipos. Let's make four groups, okay? And the other will be Walter. 
Okay, Walter will be the leader for the other group. Okay, now let me send the people. Okay, um, let me see. Mayra is going to work with Walter. Mayra, you work with Walter, okay? And Irma. Mayra, Irma, and Walter, you are one group, okay? Uh, Majo, Majo, Aida, and Rafa, you are another group. I can see Rafa is connected, okay? Ellen Nilsson, Santos, and Daniel, you will be another group, okay? Ellen Nilsson, Santos, and Daniel, you will be another group. Uh, Ulises, uh, Carla, are you going to work? De los que están con cámara apagada, alguien va a trabajar en actividad para hacer los equipos. Yes, teacher. Okay, yes. Carla is with Ulises. ¿Quién más? De los que están con cámara Pero apagada. No puedo. Okay, Mauricio, thank you. Yo, thank you for informing. Yo voy oh, a Mauricio. participar. Ah, Mauricio, sí. Okay, thank you, Mauricio. Yes. So, Mauricio is with Carla and Ulises. Alguien más de los que están con cámara apagada que va a participar para hacer los equipos to make the teams? No, okay. Group number one, Ellen Nilsson, Santos, and Daniel. Group number two, Aida, Majo, and Rafa. Group number three, Ulises, Carla, and Mauricio. Group number four, Walter, Mayra, and Irma. Okay? Yes? So, let me repeat the instruction. Okay? What are you going to do? ¿Qué van a hacer? So, you are going to try to check what these tips refer to. All right? Van a verificar a qué se refiere cada tip. These tips are for writing a formal email. All right? This is on page 34. Está en la página 34. Okay? So, please select the group you belong to. Esta vez ustedes van a elegir a qué equipo van. Okay? So you remember what tip you are in, right? Recuerda en qué equipo están. Do you remember the group you are in? Yes? Yes. 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 Okay, perfect. So you choose the group. En el grupo dos, oí. Teacher, a mí no me menciona en qué grupo. Who? Wendy, sorry, Wendy. So Wendy, you go with Ellen Nilsson, okay? Group number one, Wendy, okay? Okay. Good. So this time you choose the group. Esta vez ustedes seleccionan el equipo, okay? You choose the group. Yo en el grupo dos creo, ¿verdad? Yes, Rafa. Thank you. No problem. No tengo grupo tampoco, Cuatro. ¿Quién no tiene grupo? Yo, Raquel, Doris, Raquel. Ah, sorry, Raquel. Raquel, you go with Walt, uh, with Ulises, Carla, and Mauricio to group number three, okay? Okay. Group number three. So select the group, please. Escojan el grupo que les di. Choose the group I gave you, please. Only Aida and Carla have selected. Well, more people are selecting right now. Encontraron la opción? Did you find the option? Yes? No. 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 Les aparece ahí donde dice recording, por ahí van a buscar la opción. Unirse al grupo ah, y ahí al grupo. Sí. Que... Ahí aparece ya. Ah, ok, perfecto. Mm, solo dice, a mí me aparece solo el remoting. ¿A qué equipo, Walter? No, no me aparece la opción. ¿A qué equipo va usted? Cuatro. Ok, let me send you. Ulises, what group? Okay. What group, Ulises? Three, teacher. Three, okay, three, three. all right. Uh, Santos, what group? El uno, en el uno, okay, one. Jessica, what group? Oh, I think she's not gonna work in this, okay. ¿Cómo se ingresa en los grupos, teacher? Tampoco no me encuentro. Mayra, ¿a qué el equipo? Cuatro. Al cuatro. Al cuatro. Yo. Mayra, group Yo, number four. Al cuatro. Ah, eh, también. Sí. Gracias. ¿Quién más? Irma, what group? Al también cuatro, el también. cuatro. 
Okay, um, let me see the others. Yeah, only, only you. Ahorita le envía la invitación, Mayra. Okay, gracias. Okay. I have something. This meeting is being recorded. Cuídense, ¿sabe cuándo el teacher ya está metiendo? Ya, yeah, the teacher is coming. <laughs> the teacher is here. He's not coming. The teacher is here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Already. I'm kidding. All right, continue. Okay. So. Two. Dice, eh, incluir un, un saludo amable. Por ejemplo, querido señor, querida señora. Buenos días, etc. Soluciones. Ok. No. Ya lo tenemos claro. Okay. Uh, en three. la primera dijo oh. era que como alinear, ¿verdad? Eh, no, ese es, es, es llenar es llenar el campo del sujeto con un tema relevante o importante para quien lo recibe o para su, uh -huh. para su receptor en este caso ¿verdad? pero el asunto sería el asunto ah, ahí en el, el correo aparece una parte que dice asunto en español ese es el subject ok so in the subject en el asunto debe ser algo relevante right has to be something relevant ok ok no important así como decía arriba right no important ok yeah. Oh, well. Exactly. Okay. Okay. Number three. Como la. Como cerrar, verdad? ¿Dónde, Wendy? En three. Ah, dice escriba el punto principal. Eh. Opening. Al abrir la, la, la puerta. La oración. La, no. la, o al empezar. Opening en este es como caso. de abrir, ¿verdad? Sí, sí, pero en el contexto. Sí, se puede usar como abrir, pero yo me gustaría más interpretarlo como empezar la oración o empezar el correo en este caso. Escribir el punto principal al. al al comenzar la oración o al comenzar el correo. Ok. Pero también se puede hacer como abrir. Se puede interpretar así. Uh -huh. Bien, la cuatro. La cuatro es no use eh, letras mayúsculas. En todo a lo que estábamos viendo. Yes. En... Ah, y, 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 o minúsculas en el caso de, o sea, ni todas mayúsculas ni todas minúsculas en el caso de las cartas I'm right but I'm right teacher number four, I'm right, right okay. yes, you are sorry, yes, it's like no usar solo mayúsculas ni solo minúsculas tampoco, ok, so you have to respect yeah. grammar, yeah yeah, ok, thank you la cinco es, es evitar eh, evitar abreviaciones como por sí. ejemplo de poner plz eh, en vez de please uh -huh. o sea que en inglés no se puede abreviar o sea en una, en una, en una digamos en un chat informal sí o sea, entre entre chero vea sí se puede yeah. pero en un correo no debería mm -hmm. number number six ser amable recuerda escribir por favor y gracias mm -hmm. Por ahí. Ahí Educado. Educado. Uh -huh. 
Entonces sería Entonces, un, un... incluir un saludo educado. Uh -huh. um, dear, mister. Como señor o señora, va, pero sería dear o dear, mister o missus. Educado dice educate, educate. O oh, parece que estaba el teacher aquí con nosotros, ¿verdad? Sí, aquí está. He, yes. He's here. He is here. Supervising. <laughs> no, I'm just listening. <laughs> I don't like the word teacher, supervising. Wanna... Yeah, tell me, mom. Eh, buena question. Yeah. Es... Eh, ahí va a disculpar que quizás estábamos, estábamos un poquito más dormidos. Eh, eh, It's okay, I know you are tired. Solo que quiero que me, nos clarifique en, la, en esta actividad. Son las 10, como reglas podría decir, 10 ¿no? tips. tips ¿eh? Ajá. Pero de cada uno aquí vienen incluidos malos y, y buenos. No, these are only good tips. Tips de yeah, email. These are, yeah, these are only good tips. Aquí no vienen malos. Ah, Aquí solo, hay solo buenos solo tips. Buenos. Only good tips. Yes, ah, okay. for writing formal Entonces, emails. Si viene, uh -huh. Entonces, como vienen solo formal email, vamos a nosotros a hacer una informal a la par de ellos. No, 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 no. Solo van a revisar para que tengan claro a qué se refiere cada uno. Lo que tienen que revisar es ver a qué se refiere cada uno. Tener claro solo. de qué trata cada uno. Eso es todo. Solamente eso. Y también solo, solo, solo vamos eso. a traducir más. Exacto. Prácticamente. Yes. Uh -huh. That's right. Ok. Debería de dejar las cosas más costosas para que se nos quite el sueño. <laughs> Something more difficult. Ya viene algo más sí. difícil ahorita. Después de esto. After this. Pero necesitan tener claro a qué se refiere cada uno. Y no lo quise explicar yo. Porque ustedes escuchando y yo explicando les iba a dar más sueño también. Por eso los puse mejor hacerlo. Ya, yeah, <risa> para quebrarnos la cabeza un ratito. Exactly, exactamente. Hubiera sido fácil explicarles, ¿verdad? Pero imagínense, mm -hmm. si están cansados los hubiera dormido explicándoles. ¿Ok? Bueno, okay. Ya. Yeah. Ah, pues así continúe entonces. Pues la... The number three. El punto principal en la primera oración. O sea, desde la primera oración usted ya especifica qué es lo que quiere en su email. Uh -huh. Sí. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I see. <laughs> I see you tomorrow. Oh, I see you Saturday. No se están despidiendo de la clase, ¿verdad? Queremos, pero no podemos. I I know you are you I know it's about the email, all right? Don't worry. Yo sé que es acerca del correo. I know it's about the email. <laughs> Justo en la despedida llegó el pitch. Oh my goodness, I'm sorry, I'm sorry for interrupting. No, no, teach. Y queremos trabajar, pero Rachel no nos deja, teach. Sorry. El líder me amenazó trabajar, con pero... sacarme del grupo, teach. Rachel no nos deja trabajar. ¿Quién no le deja trabajar? A mí Rachel. me está metiendo la culpa. Rachel. ¿cómo es? Rachel. Who is Rachel? Rachel. <laughs> y Carla también que mucho habla. Ah, oh, they speak too much. All right. <laughs> Yo le dije, mire, no lo vuelvo a dejar de líder, es muy malo. Me ha hecho yeah, bullying, no. me ha hecho bullying desde que inició la reunión. <laughs> 
Ok, entonces vamos con... Vaya, ah, porque el, el, lo, lo podemos dejar como en el asunto, es como Saturday's Event, pero evento de... Bien. Event, please. ¿Verdad? Yes. Y la despedida tal vez lo podemos dejar en See You Up the Event. Nos vemos en el evento. I, um, well, in number, in number eight, yeah, in tip number eight, you have some closures, okay? In tip ah, number eight, okay. you have some ah, closures, okay? Ah. En el tip número ocho tienen uh -huh. los cierres, okay? Sí. Yeah. Oh, you have best regards, best regards. 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 Yeah, looking forward to your comments, yeah? Okay. okay. Yeah. Regards. The number two, good morning. The subject, Ellen. Ah, mm -hmm. dear or good morning. Um, no, lo podríamos dejar mejor como Miss, dear, dear Mister. Porque le, ahí le decimos a Peter, eh, recuerda preparar para el evento. Sí, para el evento. Everything para el evento. No, no. Dear Peter, remember we have to prepare. Dear Peter. Ok. Peter. Write your main point in the opening sentence. Monsignor Peter. Uh, just remember the idea in this moment is just uh, to know what the tips refer to, all right? En ese momento solo es saber a qué se refiere cada tip, okay? To know what the tips refer to, okay? Uh, okay. Not writing an email, okay? Writing an email is in a moment, okay? Oh. Yes, right now it's only check the tips and Formal. check, Formal. okay, check what they refer to, all right? Check what the tips refer to. That's it, eso es todo lo que van a hacer, that's it, okay? Oh. Yes. Oh. Okay. <laughs> ya vi, Richard lo tenía aquí transcribiendo todo. Oh my goodness. <laughs> no Uy. puede ser posible. Blaming others. <laughs> blaming others. <laughs> Remember, Uy. blaming others is a bad behavior. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding, Ulises. Es oh. broma. I'm kidding. Qué cosa para más fregar. Ok. Include a polite salutation, e.g., dear Mr., dear Mrs., good morning, etc. Write your main point in the opening sentence. Don't use all capital or all lowercase letters. Avoid abbreviation, e.g., p. L C please. Be polite. Remember to write, please, and thank I uh, thank you. Be brief. If your message is too long, consider using an attachment. Use closing first phrase. like best phrase. Sorry, phrase like best reward rewards looking forward to your component etc a signature block quite appropriate contact information your name his name business address and phone number edit and procure before you send the message Ahora comienza Mayra. Ok. 
fill in this subject line with a topic relevant to your recipient and not just document or important. Include. Seguía yo creo. Sí. Include a online celebration in AG. Okay, uh, okay, everyone, uh, thank you very much. I know that maybe you didn't finish, right? But the idea, uh, the idea of this activity uh, was to check what the tips refer to. Okay, these tips are for writing formal emails, all right? Estos tips son para escribir eh, correos formales, for writing formal emails. So the idea was that you checked what they referred Two, right? La idea era que revisaran a qué se refiere cada uno, ¿ok? So let's check quickly. Revisemos rápidamente. Let's check quickly. All right, number one. Fill in the subject line with a topic relevant to your recipient and not just document or important, ¿ok? So what is this about? ¿A qué se refiere este? What is this about? You can say it in Spanish this time. Esta vez lo podemos hacer en español. Que le complete la línea un... de asunto con un tema relevante. Mm -hmm. Ok, no solamente poner document or important, right? Ok, so that's not a topic. That's, that's not a relevant topic, ok? Ese no es un tema relevante. That's not a relevant topic, ok? It depends on the, on the email you are sending, right? Depende del correo que estemos enviando, ya? Yeah? Good. Uh, now imagine uh, you are sending a memo. So you're not going to write important or document, right? So that's impossible, okay? Good. Tip number two, include a polite salutation. For example, dear mister, dear miss, good morning, etc. What is this about? ¿A qué se refiere ese? What is this about? Incluyamos un saludo amable. Un saludo amable, exactly. So commonly in English, you start emails with dear. En inglés, normalmente se empieza un correo con dear. For example, uh, dear boss, querido jefe, dear boss, or uh, dear Walter Estrada, for example, okay, or dear Mr. Walter Estrada. Okay, no, so you say, morning. sorry? So you can say good morning then. Good morning, uh, Miss or Mrs. Molina, right? So you go like that. We do it like that, okay? Eso es lo primero que se escribe cuando se empieza el correo. Aparte de, abajo del asunto. Ok, below the... Give me a second, please. Deme un segundo. Give me a second. Ok, uh, so, eso es abajo del asunto, ok? Para empezar el correo en sí. To start the email. What is next? ¿Qué sigue? Tip number three. Write your main point in the opening sentence. So, what is this about? What is this about? Ya. Yeah. Escribe tu punto principal en la oración inicial. En la oración inicial, exactly. It's like la idea principal, ¿verdad? Decimos nosotros, the main idea. Or the most important, or the central idea of the email, all right? La idea central del correo. So that's important, ¿ok? The main point. Pueden escribir un párrafo de tres líneas, pero en la primera línea va el main point, el punto principal, the main point, ¿ok? Uh, que es prácticamente de qué trata el correo. What is the email about, okay? Number four. Don't use all capital or lowercase letters. What is this about? No usar letras so, solo mayúsculas o solo minúsculas en, al escribir el email. All right, that's right. Okay, no usen solo mayúsculas o solo minúsculas, right? So follow grammatical rules. Hay que seguir gramática, okay? Ortografía decimos, right, in Spanish. Okay, number five. Avoid abbreviations. What is this about? Evitar no abbreviaturas. Evitar o no usar abreviaturas, okay? So like, for example, PLC for saying please, all right? Yeah, so this is impossible for formal emails because this is supposed to be a formal email, okay? Number six, be polite. Remember to write please 
and thank you. Ah, this is easy, right? Solo hay que ser educado. Say please. If you're asking for a favor, say please. Or say thank you, right? At the end of the email. In my case, I normally say thank you beforehand. Gracias de antemano. Thank you beforehand. I say that in my case, right? Maybe you can say it too. Number seven, be brief. If your message is too long, consider <clears throat> using an attachment, okay? So what is this about? ¿A qué se refiere esto? What is this about? Ser breve. Ser breve. Y si el mensaje es largo, ¿qué tiene que hacer? What do you have to do? Adjuntar un documento. Adjuntar un documento. Using an attachment. Un attachment es un archivo adjunto, ¿verdad? So, so use an attachment. Please. Imagínense que van a mandar, ¿qué? Unos tres párrafos. Es un correo informativo. No van a escribir todo en el correo, right? No. What is the tip? Only put the most important information in the email and add an attachment. Agreguen un archivo, okay? O pongan un archivo adjunto. Number eight, use a closing phrase. The closure, el cierre, like best regards, regards, looking forward to your comments. ¿A qué se refiere este? What is this about? Cuando mandamos la información en el email, que vaya nuestro contacto por si nos quieren contactar por, por una respuesta nuestro nombre y a qué nos dedicamos adentro de la empresa, por ejemplo si yo le mando ese email a otros que tienen usuarios yes, that's right, so that, puedo... yeah, it's correct that is number nine, it's correct, so to put the contact information is important, okay, in number nine and in number eight what is it about? Eh, usar frases de cierre como saludos cordiales y decir en espera de sus comentarios, que obtente yes. sus comentarios, usar exactly. esas palabras al final. Exactly. So we have to use a closure. Debemos usar un cierre. Y en ese cierre podemos poner best regards. Ok. Regards. Looking forward to your comments. Pero ansiosamente tus comentarios, ok, looking forward to your comments, or regards, que sería saludos, ok, regards, or best regards, ok, so you need a closure, necesitamos un cierre, en lo que alguien dijo ya por ahí, ok, a signature block, un bloque de, 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 de firmas, o información de contacto, name, address, and phone number, Okay. Eso viene configurado en el correo. Uno lo puede configurar para que ya le aparezca directamente, ¿verdad? So it appears directly. And finally, edit and proofread before you send the message. What is this about? Que debemos editar y revisar antes de enviar el mensaje. Exactly. Proofread es revisar y editar el mensaje antes de enviarlo, before you send it, ¿ok? Now, these are the tips for writing an, an email, all right? Estos son los tips para escribir un correo formal. Are you ready to write one? ¿Están listos para escribir uno ahora? Are you ready to write one? Yes. No nos vamos a ir hasta que terminamos de escribir un correo, ¿ok? Ok, teacher. Ok, yeah. I thought you were going to say, no, teacher, come on, it's time. By the way. But, uh, but I, I really like your disposition, ¿ok? I really like your disposition. Don't worry, we will do it tomorrow. Mañana vamos a tener... Eh, un poco de tiempo, ok? Anyways, ok, so uh, thank you very much. Um, it's time, I know, and I know you are very tired. Sé que están muy cansados algunos. Y a pesar, que quiero agradecerles porque a pesar de que algunos están casi durmiendo, sé, yo sé que es cansancio. Okay? It's, it's because you are tired. Están haciendo el esfuerzo de estar conectados y estar trabajando, ¿verdad? Y yo sé que no es fácil porque yo he estado en esas condiciones también en, en, en su momento, ok? Y les agradezco muchísimo. I really appreciate your disposition to get connected, ¿ok? Realmente les agradezco la disposición de estar conectados a pesar de su, de su cansancio, ¿ok? Y créanmelo, believe me, all right? Todo esfuerzo tiene su recompensa. And I have lived that. Y eso yo lo he vivido, ¿ok? Cada esfuerzo tiene su recompensa. Así que el esfuerzo que están haciendo, quizás querrían estar dormiditos a las nueve de la noche y algunos... Pero ese esfuerzo que están haciendo, yo sé que tiene su recompensa en su momento. It has a reward, ¿ok? So believe in that, please. Eso es verídico, eso es así, ¿ok? Y quizás todos lo hemos vivido, ¿verdad? Que en algún momento hemos hecho un esfuerzo 
hemos quizás caminado la mía extra y hemos tenido una recompensa, quizás no hablando del idioma, pero en este caso estamos hablando del idioma, ¿ok? Ese esfuerzo que están haciendo va a tener su recompensa en su momento, ¿ok? So, wait for it. Hay que esperarla entonces, wait for it, ¿ok? So, thank you very much for connecting today. Gracias por conectarse. I'll see you tomorrow. Lo veo mañana y por favor, eh, trabajemos la plataforma, ¿ok? Trabajemos la plataforma. Este día en sesión 1 a 1 le toca a Rafael, ¿ok? So, we have Rafa today. So, thank you for connecting today. Goodbye, good night, and take care. Good night. Good night. Good night. Take care. Goodbye. Good night. Good night. Bye. Bye and good night. See you. See you tomorrow. Que se bañe Rafa. Yes. No le va a quedar chance hoy, porque tiene la sesión uno a uno. Ok. See you. Goodbye. Bye. Okay, Rafa, just let me put some people in the waiting room. Okay, Rafa, ese espacio es para usted, así que sure. adelante. Adelante, Rafa. Hello, teacher, how are you? Fine, how are you? Good, good, and you? Very well, I'm thank sorry you. For I'm, I'm sorry, but I, I, I am tonight, uh, I am working, but I go to the airport for when people come back here to Canada. Oh my goodness. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, but well, what time, what time are you going to the airport? Right now, in this moment? No, 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 it, it's the moment, moment I, I am here in my office. Ah, okay, so you can attend the one-on-one -on -one session, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Ah, okay, it's, good, it's excellent okay. then. Ok, Rafa, so this space is for you. Este espacio es para ti, así que adelante. Go ahead. But um, I am like the class for me. Um, you remember, uh, yeah, I am you, you one promise for in the class every day. Yes, that's right. Uh, yeah, um, no, uh, uh, I don't know the sacrifice, but I like for the classes every day. When Excellent. You, do excellent teacher for for the people and more people the the talk for the you excellent teacher um, um a possibility the the more people come by your country or you or your your home okay thank you yeah um where uh, um I, I am este, aprendido, ¿cómo se dice aprendido? He aprendido. I have learned. I have learned and for you in the classes. I am listening. Listen. My talk is so so. On the people come back here for the Canadians, people yeah. instead of working here. No, not told the Spanish, only little English, little Spanish, but I, I am little English. They speak more um, English, right? Than Spanish. Yes, yeah, I mean, last time I listened to the news on talking to some people in English. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was Javier, sorry. It was Javier. Yeah, Javi, uh, Nilsson y Santos. It was co my co worker inside here, the, the, the work. So for you, English is an obligation. Uh, yes, no, no obligation. But it's important in my work. Yes, yes, because you have uh, people from Canada, so it's important. Yeah, for the Canada inside here for for three weeks, um, finish the working here, go to the Canada, but come back possibility in May, uh, uh, American people in my work. So you have to give them instructions in English sometimes, right? Yeah. Oh my yeah. goodness, it's hard. Yeah. yeah. But the, 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 the American people, uh, good morning, it's hello, or oh, I'll go to San Salvador, and the address in San Salvador, like uh, Escalón, Santa Elena, uh, only English for knowing, no Spanish. 
Yes, but, but in these places, uh, the places they visit, uh, the people speak English, right? In the places they visit. Yeah, on, on, on the, no, no visit here, not working here in El in Salvador. Oh, they are working. Yeah, they're working for one year or depending for the, the depending for situation, the, the, uh, the United States con, con, con Russia. With Russia, okay, I see. Interesting, I, I can see your, your job is very interesting. Yeah. <laughs> but, but, but basically your job is to drive, right? Yeah, yeah, I am driver for, and, and tonight it's a so, but depending right. for, depend for the, the, the people, the, the movement, the people here, hotel quality, hotel quality come here in, in Comalapa, April, but okay. the, my working is next, next the second brigada area. Bright grade, you say bright yeah. grade, the second bright grade. The second bright grade, but um, for day, and day, uh, is it more, come back here the San Salvador, um, the paper, the American embassy, depending for, for, for different independence, the American embassy or, or over the Salvador. Okay. Is ah, and the day is crazy here. I am shower the car. Uh, I go to the gas station. I cleaner the 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 different different transportation for the the, the American employer here in in, in, in uh, CSL. Okay, I see. So so you have many things to do. So your day yeah. is but very short. The April, the April, the April is different, different company here. But um, the Nilsson, Javier, Santos, I am a racer for new contract or new, new employer. Mm, I, mean, I see. I mean, I okay, okay. But, but I have a question, I mean, the, the the people from other countries are with you yeah in your company but yeah basically your company is uh the company where you work is like a hotel or what no 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 uh, it's the the american people american embassy oh ah you work in the embassy yeah you work oh in the embassy. i i was confused i was confused i thought it was a separate company but it's a company that belongs to the embassy. Yes, mm. but, but it's the, the, the American embassy, uh, the Navy is a reservation for the, the uh, employer Salvadorian here. Oh, I see. But for, for I am told for the, the car wash, the, 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 the go to the San Salvador, but no, not told for the office. Nothing, oh, nothing. I see. I see. But the main offices are in the embassy, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. I see. I, I was really confused because, well, I thought, I thought that the offices were outside the outside the embassy. I mean, anywhere else. Yeah. Anywhere. Yeah. yeah. Oh. <laughs> interesting. So your job is very interesting, Rafa. <laughs> right. It's also. So, so yeah, I mean, taking yeah. people from other countries, practicing English with these people. So it's interesting, though. It's OK. Yeah. So so basically, you are studying English because you need English in your work. Well, yeah. yeah. Oh, my goodness. Uh, um, I, am the, I am working the embassy, inside the embassy for eight years, the school bus. Okay. The bus school bus transportation for the children, the children for the employer, the American embassy. Oh, really? Interesting. So, you, yeah. so basically, you transported uh, the 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 children of the people who work in the embassy. Yeah, uh, I go go to the the home, uh, American school, Brittany school, Francis school every day. The Monday or Friday. In Saturday, in Sunday, 
I go to the transportation for the people and tourists. Okay, so it's, it's mainly tourism on Sunday. So you take yeah. people to different touristic places. Yeah, that's basic for, for me, it's basic, it's easy for the, the money, different. It's, uh, different. <laughs> yeah, I see, I see, I understand. It's very interesting though, very interesting. Okay, thank you, teacher. All right, no problem. So any topic you want to know about, Rafa? Algun tema specific or any topic and specific? No? No. Okay, you only want to practice, right? Okay. <laughs> Thank you. All right, no problem. It's okay. Thank you very much for uh, connecting, Rafa. No problem, teacher. Thank you. See All you right. tomorrow. Thank See you tomorrow. Take care and good night. Okay, good night, teacher. Bye-bye.